Welcome to Doug Does Stuff. I'm Doug, and we are finally done with our multi-board wall. This wall has taken us the better part of three months to put together and finally get up, and there's been a lot of reasons behind it. First reason is it's really big. It's 72 inches by 45 inches. That means we have a lot of multi-board to print. A lot of multi-board spacers, a lot of multi-board snaps to print to put up on the wall. This thing has been an endeavor, and it's not done yet. Just the base is up. Now we have to start printing parts to hang things. As you can see, I've already started a few, but there's more to go. The possibilities are, I think, infinite. And as multi-board releases more, I got to print more stuff. I got to now learn how to do multi-bins, but we're not there. We're here. Let me give you a quick review of what we got. We've got nine tiles going across by six tiles coming down. And some of those tiles are custom. Like here, you can see where these are divided from here to here. These are one, two, three, four, five by eight grid tiles. Except when you come over here, we have a five by nine tile. And why is that? Well, it's so I could fill the whole wall with no gap over there. We also have custom tiles around plugs, around outlets, behind monitors, and we even have tiles that have, um, right here, one of these tiles, I don't know, has the corners on like part of it, and then no corners on the rest. This, I'm telling you, this, this has been quite the journey, quite the learning experience. I'm really happy I did it. It looks great, and it's only going to look better when I get done. But let's talk about why it's taken me so long. Why it's taken me so long. This one, and this one. This one's been my workhorse. This is an Ender 3 Pro. And printing multi-board tiles on this... It's not a fast process. Um, it's got some upgrades to it, but I haven't really increased the speed because I wanted the quality, not necessarily the speed. The best thing I did for this, you're looking at it, this enclosure made a huge difference in print quality and prints lifting off the bed. Um, but you can print on here a 9x9 corner tile without much trouble, you can print a nine uh, core tile, but it's tight, but you can do it. But you gotta do things like getting the right bed clips that really don't get in the way because you use the whole thing. One eight by eight grid on this takes 12 to 14 hours, I think, somewhere in there. I think it's closer to 14. So it takes a long time. And that's one grid. You saw I've got 54 grids on my wall. I'll let you do the math. Um, to speed things up, I did get... Come back over here. I grabbed my grandpa uh, on the wall there. Um, I did get my Ender 3 V2 Neo. This thing was a bear. It's about to be torn down because I'm tired of it. Um, but it did give me some, some tiles. But as you can see over here... I got a lot of waste because I got a lot of mess ups and things like, well, that one's not so bad, but there's ones in here. I'll find it. You know what? I'm not going to be able to find it because I'm trying to show you, but things like, uh, like this, there's just nibs everywhere here ran out of filament halfway through. This one, it was warping. So anyway, it was quite a process. And it was a very uh, steep learning process for me to get my printers dialed in to get this where it is. And it's not perfect. Let's, let's come in here. You know, from far away you can see it looks good, but then you get up close and you can see we've got some gaps there. 
you know, some of the boards don't line up just right. Um, so, you know, it was, it was, it looks good from here. And that is, I'm telling myself what matters. All right, let's talk a little bit more now. If you're going to put this up, realize something this big, you are turning your wall into Swiss cheese if you ever want to take this down. I have got screws pretty much behind all of these orange connectors that you see. Um, the ones that hold the board on the wall. Like, the, uh, ba -ba -ba. like these here, you don't. But all the other ones you do. Uh, so yeah, you're going to turn your wall into Swiss cheese. The more mounting points you have, the sturdier it is. Because, you know, you come in here and you can see there's some deflection when you're trying to hook things in. What else? What else? What else? Oh, I wish I had realized that there was a 40 or 90 degree connector. I'm not going to find it. I'm just going to dump out all my parts on the table here. I found this. This. Come on, get my hand out of the way here for you. Get over here. Goes in the corner. And then you can have multi-grid wrap around the corner. Well, I didn't know that when I was starting. So I didn't plan for it that way. Um, would have been cool, but I didn't. So it is what it is. The other thing that wasn't available was on multi-board, I think they just released it last week, is a multi-board planner. Use it. It will show you what you need. I did all the math, you know, X millimeters this way, that way. Oh, but I did it and I figured out what I got and I'm going to be happy. Yes, I'm probably going to do something here. I just don't know what yet. What else? Um, the multi-board library is huge. It is confusing and it is not well put together. It's very hard, even for people who pay. And I mean, listen, I'm all for paywalls if you're putting in the work. But you, you multi-board, if I pay, maybe give me a catalog of parts so I don't have to go searching and finding things afterwards. That's been my biggest beef is that, it, you know, you go on Thangs. You come over here to Multi-Board Thangs page. And you can down all the, download all these for free, and it's all here. But this is the same catalog you get if you are a paid subscriber. And it's just too much. I really wish they would do something better for us trying to figure it out. What are my other uh, big warnings for you? It's going to take a while if you're not good at 3D printing. It's going to be frustrating if you don't know if your 3D printer doesn't like you. But it's going to be good in the end. So happy I did it. My multi-board wall is up. Let the organization begin. I'm Doug. I did this. Like and subscribe for me. Maybe leave a comment. Thumbs up.